Hi, I'm Robbie. I'm a freelance editor and I used to work in the editorial department for a small Scottish publisher. In an editorial department, what you do is you read submissions that have been sent in by authors or by their agents, if they've got one. And if you come across a submission that you really like, that you want to turn into a book, you can then try to commission it. And that usually means talking to colleagues in marketing department and in sales, telling them how wonderful the book is that you've just read. And that requires you to have a huge amount of passion about the book that you've, that you've picked up because you have to persuade all these people that it's worth spending money on um, and that it is such a good book that it will probably make them some money as well. Once you've managed that and you've signed your deal with, a, with an author, you will then work with them to edit their book to make it absolutely perfect. I like to think of it like a, a plank of wood. Sometimes if you touch a plank of wood, you can feel it's a bit rough and it's got splinters, but then you can plane it down slightly, take a few layers off and it becomes really smooth. What you would then do is work with the author. You're sort of like the author's liaison between the publishing company, the marketing and the sales team, and, and themselves to make sure that their concerns are being heard, but also that you're getting you know, the best out of them that you possibly can. I think my favorite part of working in-house at a publisher was the commissioning aspect of reading through manuscripts and finding that special one and pushing that through and then following it the whole way through from, from that moment to the po point where you actually hold a book in your hand. Um, that's a wonderful feeling. My favourite parts of freelancing are that I am in control of my own time. I don't have to do so much spreadsheet work and I get to work with authors, different authors, every day, all day. And that's just wonderful. I think that as an editor, you have to really love reading, of course, but you also have to really love people because the strangest people in the world are offered authors and you've got to love their eccentricities and I think bring, bring those parts of their personality out in their writing. One of my favorite authors that I've worked with is Chris McQueer, who is a young Glaswegian author. Kings is his first collection of short stories and they are really funny, they're quite dark, they're a little bit rude, I just love them. I think that they are his personality in a, in sort of a paper form. There are several ways that you can get into the industry. Um, you can go down the education route by doing a master's in publishing um, at university, which many people do. And it's a great way of getting those sort of foundational skills that you can then bring to a publisher. So a publisher as an employer will know that you have sort of a, a set knowledge level that they can rely on. But you don't have to go into, the, into publishing via that route. I went to university, but I didn't do a master's in publishing. Um, after university, I started up a small print journal of new writing and illustration called Type Review. It was brilliant. I also ran a spoken word open mic night in Glasgow called Don't Eat the Microphone that got me in contact with a lot of different poets and writers. And I also did some freelance work with uh, a large publisher in Glasgow, which was brilliant. That was a lovely thing to have on my CV. Publishers really respect inventiveness and they're also looking for what else you can bring to the table. So if they've got a whole publishing house full of people with publishing master's degrees, Maybe they want you who have done something different and can bring new ideas into the mix. And that's really important. I would also say that you don't need to work for free. Uh, I didn't work for free to get a job in publishing. There are plenty of paid internships out there right now. Some of the things that you can do at school to prepare yourself for working in publishing, you could help students with their essays. You could join the, local, the school newspaper if you've got one. Um, talk to your English teachers about maybe doing a creative writing anthology for your year group and you can help you know, prepare the pieces for that anthology rather than write them yourself. You can help choose them, things like that. Um, I think also though, if you want to be an editor, 
the first place you should look is at your own writing. So maybe start a blog reviewing books that you're reading. And by doing that, you will be getting better at writing yourself and you will be getting better at seeing what parts of your writing work and what don't and what you need to change to make them better. Because that's exactly what you have to do to other people's work when you become an editor.